Rob, Rob tell on the track. Uh, 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 uh. Hop in the whip and I hit these switches. See that chrome suspension. Uh, Look at the car, you know who did it. I don't have to mention. Uh, uh, they know it's Alex from Hoppos, 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 Hoppos. Uh, uh, Custom work come from Hoppos, Hoppos, Hoppos. I'm, I'm Rob Tell of 504. For anybody that gotta know, Alex stay with fresh content. And he keep it coming like a slideshow. Never cut corners far as I know. But he cut metal with his eyes closed. Control arms, reinforced frame, still killing the game. You see the gun smoke from Impalas with the X frame. Doing tricks like it came from the X game. Everybody gotta tune in. For the next day. What's up and good afternoon guys? I think it's afternoon. I think it's like 1230-ish. Well, we have the 60 rolling back in. Hopefully today, um, I got a few calls yesterday saying that they might be here late in the day today, if not first thing tomorrow morning. Either way, I kind of want to start off the video uh, today. That way it was a lot easier for me. Um, we just got out tons and tons of freaking orders. And I mean tons of pallet loads, literally pallet loads. We got a few more behind me still, but uh, yeah, we're still working on those. We got a lot of other stuff going on. We got uh, like seven wishbone orders we got to fulfill. Um, I got a lot of tabs right here, as you guys can see, that we got to clean up, grind up, wire wheel, and uh, smooth out. But the 60 is back. It is as of last night, I think it was. It was at Michael Amberson's um, getting the frame striped. The body had just got striped a few days prior to that. And it went back to CNC in Anaheim, and they did a, a clear over everything. That way it's protected, and then they're going to reassemble um, hopefully late tonight. He said uh, if there's any snag ups, it won't be until tomorrow, Thursday. I don't know when you guys are going to be watching this because I'm probably going to do this in two or three parts. Uh, this might be part two and part three. I don't know yet. It just kind of depends on how much footage I get. So that's supposed to be rolling back in here. Now let's see when it shows up. If it's the only one that made it, I made that for the system. Okay. So guys, right now we're just kind of doing a little meeting, getting everyone together, getting everyone on the same page. Um, we got about another 30, 40 minutes into this, and uh, pretty much what we're doing is just laying out time frames for everybody, trying to be realistic with everything, what we're changing, what we're doing. The car looks absolutely freaking beautiful compared to where it came in, which it looked good before, but goddamn, it's night and day difference. Um, so we're just going over everything right now. Um, I mean, shit, I'm very, very impressed on what they pulled off in the short amount of time. Um, kind of talking about the stuff we got to change and we're going to add and um, just kind of go from there. So uh, it's going to be a very, very late night for the next two weeks. We got a two week time frame on here. So yeah, it'll be interesting. Let me tell you, holy shit, is there a difference? I mean, look at that shine off of it. Right now, we're obviously in the dark, but look at that shine. Right now, we do have just a, a, a mock-up wishbone in there uh, just to get them going. Um, there's a few pieces that are still at engraving right now, but you guys get a little idea of what is going on. And this lighting can be bad because the sun's going down right now, but there's all those little detail pieces we are working with last time. And holy shit though, the amount of detail that's underneath here is a world of a difference than when uh, you guys last saw it. Here's that last plate that we did. We're actually going to do a little bit more on these. But Hyro should definitely be happy because holy shit, I'm, I'm ecstatic about it just the way it looks. Just the difference of it. And you guys see all that time we spent on getting these you know, recessed in there all nice. You can't see, we got the stand here, but we got the belly plate there, here. Michael Amberson did all the striping on it. He killed it, like always. You guys can see the firewall's been reshaped, redone, repainted. Yeah, guys, this is, I mean, it's, the video's not gonna do this just, justice right now. I know that because the lighting and the sun's going down right now. But, I mean, you guys can see that firewall. I mean, it's just glistening right now under bad lighting conditions. All the seams and holes are molded. I mean, it was just everything was completely redone. Body mounts redone. Everything was just redone. Badass. Super excited to get going on this. We got to get to work. We got a lot and lot of stuff to do in very short amount of time. Castaneda got down on the engraving like always. Yeah, you guys can just see, I mean, the, the frame, 
the paint it just looks so much better everything looks so much better huge difference I wish you guys could see this right now in person but I know that the, the phone is just not doing justice for this but once you get all the other pieces in here it's gonna shine even more and it's gonna look good we got a whole bunch of stuff at plating right now and a whole bunch of stuff at engraving that rear end piece that we did that's at engraving right now there's a lot of things you also change that you guys probably don't notice um, you got block huggers on if I can reach up there on the exhaust manifold I got block huggers that way eliminate the issue we were having last time we're getting everything packed away right now um, it's gonna be a little snug fit and loading all the pellets in I think I got a tight clearance up here but we're getting everything packed away that way we can shut the door it's after hours right now we don't have to worry about anything we're gonna get we're gonna get burning on this guy Woo, sexy we're gonna get going on this one though um, that way we're gonna close up this door that way we don't have to worry about no one bothering us we don't have to answer phones no more thank God so we just got work time I literally sat here and laid underneath the car for like 30 minutes because I couldn't figure out where to start because there's so much to do and I want to start correctly and move my way from one side to the other whether it be left side to the right side or front to back or back to front vice versa however then I realized it was like it's like 6 30 right now already all them left obviously and now we just got free time quiet time to actually get working but i gotta eat my lunch i haven't eaten my lunch yet so we got me a nice turkey sandwich i'm not a sandwich guy but whatever the only thing that sucks i hate wheat is wheat Getting the tubing done, as you can see in the video. So, we've got a lot going on right now, guys. I'll tell you that. A lot of you guys are like, ah, it's just a car build, right? No big deal, just get it done. Well, one thing is, you know, like I mentioned before in my videos, I never met, I've never missed a deadline. The, the shop itself has never missed a deadline. Vic itself has never missed a deadline. So, the pressure of getting this car done is, is it's, it's scary. Just the amount of work, and then I actually just talked to Mario right now on the phone, and you know the amount of work you gotta do is just it's ridiculous. And on top of that, a lot of you guys have seen my vi previous videos. My girls actually do pretty much any time now. We were on Baby Watch as of uh, last week, so not only are we trying to get this car done in time, we are literally fighting Mother Nature. <laughs> we're literally fighting the time against Mother Nature right now. So if I get that call, my girl is going in and she's gonna start delivering our baby girl then I gotta go you know so we were trying to get as much done as possible <laughs> on this car you know so it's like we're juggling time so yeah I'm a little more stressed out than normal on this car um, and, and for a pretty good reason I, I would have to say you know it's my daughter's gonna be born so get some tubing done right now it's looking good so we'll test fit We got the fittings tightened up as you can see. I gotta wipe off that sealant right there. But the first set of hard lines are in. So that should clear everything, gives enough room for all the braking, fender wells over here. So we should be looking good. So I don't know if you guys agree with me. I'm sure you guys will, but the way GM did these. Obviously, it wasn't a show car, and they weren't planning for these to be exposed and showing as much as, you know, these cars are nowadays, but these just don't look very appealing. So, what we're doing right now is we're, uh, well, I actually got one almost done. I'll show you guys on this side. We got a body mount cover, um, so it actually full bolts in. Um, we actually utilized all the stock holes, so we didn't have to drill anything out here. Um, it has a slight little angle or bevel coming up and bent back that way it kind of blends with the line in the in the factory firewall here well it's not really factory it's already been shaved and everything but it blends with the line and it flows perfectly with it and it hides that ugly you know section that uh, GM left wide open because 
it's just hard to make that look nice. You know, you can sit there and mold it all you want, but what we did here is just make a nice cover. That way we could actually paint and engrave and diamond cut and just add that extra detail on here. So with the hard lines done, that done, well, not really done. I still got to test. It's, it's a, in a test stage right now. You still got to uh, cut off the nut on the, or the bolt on the backside, put a nice nut on there. All that's going to be setting out to chrome and engrave. Hopefully tomorrow, if I'm able to finish this one tonight, it's about 930 right now. So uh, I'm going to work on this side next. Got all the pieces cut out. Uh, they're, they're here somewhere. It, it's been a crazy night already. So got to get going. Next, next step. Oh man, guys, I've been moving so uh, slowly but fast at the same time, if that makes sense. Uh, we got secondary body mount cover in place. I'm sorry, I'm not really showing how I'm doing this. Um, it's just, I'm on a super tight time crunch here, so just trying to get stuff done. We got the top speaker grill, uh, which tweeters are going to be going in there. We got that all custom made. That's going to be getting engraved and diamond cut along with these getting uh, engraved and diamond cut and we got the delete kit in with the switches and pre-wired switch panel just kind of getting tossed back there right now so next step is uh, we got to get these um, temporary bulkheads out these are testers i'm gonna get this one out this is a tester and we're gonna get the correct ones in there and tightened up and we're gonna get the hoses starting to get ran uh, zipped up to the center um, to the inside of the car because we're actually running center console in here and then uh, tubing is at polish right now should be coming back tomorrow hopefully if all goes well and uh, we just I literally got a huge huge three page checkoff list that we got to do a um, whole bunch of little stuff uh, little medallions that have to get engraved um, yeah tons and tons of stuff but this car the more and more I look at it, it's just looking so, so good. So very impressed and very happy with the way things are coming out. Now we just got to keep moving and uh, there's no way to progress unless you actually do work. So bye-bye for now. We are making great headway here. Uh, we just got finished up with a meeting with Mario and Hyro this morning again. Uh, we went over some other stuff that they're adding onto the build. On top of that, I uh, picked up a whole bunch of stuff that, unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys yet. But if you guys get the picture here, you see those holes drilled and tapped. We got those all getting layered up to match. Oh. The lighting is horrible, but to get it, getting it all lined up to match this right here, along with match all the inserts and engraving. Um, also, the secondary piece here. So that is all on its way to Jaime Castaneda. Guess we'll pull this tape off here since we're done. Um, so those are going to get polished and then engraved. And unfortunately, I didn't get to show you guys that, but um, again, on these long builds like this, on these long builds like this, it's kind of like, um, well, I don't want to say long because I only got two weeks, but it's kind of go, 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 go. And uh, a lot of times it's, we're just really short on time, so it's hard to show you guys everything. But try to show you guys a little bit of what we got going here. So well, along with all this piece I just showed you, the switch panel, which was there, um, that, um, the grill insert from up on top, or the, the dash speaker insert up on top, way, way up there. All that's already off at going to the plater. Um, well, actually, polisher, then engraver, then plater, and then back to us. So, you guys will be seeing that shortly. Uh, we got a lot of other stuff to do. We just got the rear wishbone installed. Let me take you back over. Don't mind the fingerprints right now, but we got the wishbone all installed. The, it's been diamond cut, and then we got all the engraving again by Castaneda. Um, we got the rear cylinders installed. Um, these ones weren't our cylinders, but we were able to fix them. Um, we had a few little cross threaded pieces. We took those out, uh, put new ones in there. So those are all fixed 100%. We also got the cups back from Chrome. So yeah, it's, it's freaking falling together. It's looking amazing. I mean, 
look at that shine and obviously it's dirty right now but look at that shine right now so i'll have a lot more to show you guys as i go we stand right now is uh mario swung by earlier today as you can tell it's nighttime already he swung by earlier today he picked up all the extra uh, extra pieces going out to chrome and grave we got the hoses ran in here to the center uh mind you they are building a whole center console so it's going to be tucking all that away switches we have temporarily on a panel but the panel is already being uh well, you guys can kind of see where it's going, where it's taped off right there. It's going to be a delete plate, um, and all six switches are uh, fitting inside there. That way it looks factory. Um, it's not, it doesn't have to get, go into the center console. In the center console, I believe they're putting uh, the switches for everything else there. So, But we got all the hosing ran, switch cord ran, everything clamped up through here. Um, we have all the extra just hanging in here for right now. Um, as of right now, it looks like this is going to be a perfect fit because hoses should be coming right about here. As you can tell where the X is at more or less um vic is in the back getting all the angle cut up well, actually yeah, you can see him it's kind of back there look at that muscle man so he's getting the angle put up right now uh, he's gonna get it cut on the cnc saw that way everything's precise and accurate uh, we don't have to worry about any tapered or anything like that so Today we really didn't get to work on it much uh, because of shipping and uh, all production stuff, but we are on it right now. Uh, we got the tubing back, but we can't put it on as of right now because the car's gonna be you know going up and down. So we're just leaving that as is. So yeah, there's just a lot going on. Uh, we're gonna make this happen, hopefully. But yeah, the next step is battery rack. So as you can see, we are gonna be running Optimas. Of course, that's always our go-to battery as we're using it, as you can tell by the banner back there. Um, that's our go-to batteries for a nice show setup, maintenance-free. It's very easy to maintain in these cars when they're sitting. So, as you guys can tell, there's huge differences going on on this car. Um, I mean, overall cleanliness, detail, I mean, everything is very, very precise now. Um, and it's looking the way it should be. So, we're very pleased with the turnout. Now, we just got to keep working. So guys, we finally get a setup mocked up in here. Vic's crawling inside right now. He has the, the grueling task of uh, making himself skinny. And I'm not skinny, he's smaller than me, so that's why he's in there. So, go ahead Vic, don't, don't wait on me. And normally we wouldn't wanna be obviously tacking with a setup pretty much in there, but in this case we had to because we were fighting clearances. Um, you can see the marks that we had going on. We we're checking height and clearance and all that, making sure we're leveled up and squared. So yeah, it's been fun, but uh, we got it to fit. And uh, like I said, Vic's making himself skinny in here and he's getting it tacked in place. That way we can remove the setup and fully weld it. Um, he's also stuffing some stuff in there that way we don't get and burn any of the chrome. If we burn it, then we gotta tear it down and uh, we gotta send it back out. So let's cross our fingers, we don't burn it. The Optimus just showed up right now. I'm excited for these. Looks like we get these unboxed and tossed back in here. They're not back in here, but tossed in here. Um, thank you again to Optima Batteries. You guys know that we only use the Optimas in all of our nice, nice, nice high-end show builds. So, of course, we had to go with the Optimas in here. Uh, Maintenance-free, and uh, well, you see, we kind of love them around here. Girl Scout cookies just came by right now, so I couldn't say no. The little girl's so cute. Had to buy a few boxes, but thank God I have a nice little thin mint holder right here. Works out great, but 
Oh man, I just dropped my cookie. Um, in other words, so pretty much what we got going on here, we're waiting on Mario and the chrome and the engraving to show up. We're not far from it. Uh, they said it's gonna be here late tonight. We pretty much got, we stood late last night, me and Vic. We got all the batteries in, we got it all wired up as much as we could until the chrome and uh, engrave comes back. It's not bad, it's like a five second reward. Right? And then from there, and these cookies are so good, but then from there, uh, once we get that back, we're on a final assembly on here. Uh, we also gotta reinstall all the stuff that we did in the front. Um, all the, the grill insert, the body mount covers, all the secondary trans pieces. So, exciting day. As long as it comes back today, we are on dead. Um, we are literally on the last last day on when this stuff could deliver because, as you guys can see, it kind of got half of a drive line here, over here, because uh, we're waiting for this stuff to come back. And it's kind of like a puzzle. We can't do one piece without the other piece, and the other piece can't do the other piece until one piece comes in. So. It's just a waiting game right now. Chrome and Gravy is holding us up right now. They're moving as fast as they can, but we're literally on a standstill in this car right now until we could get all that stuff back. So hopefully it shows up quick. Guys, the time has come. The Chrome has showed up. Finally, Mario just took off right now. As you guys can see, we got a lot of the engraving back. And if it's a little loud, I'm sorry. It's, it's kind of cold in here, so I got the heater going. So we got the grill speaker back, body mount covers. I'm freaking excited to put these stuff in. This is what I was really, really waiting for because I couldn't do anything to the wiring or uh, wiring. These are actually the dump covers um, for the hardline wire. And then the bulkheads, we diamond cut the, the nuts for the bulkheads. And then got those all engraved as well. So this is the stuff that we were waiting for. It's here. Um, we can finish up the wiring in the trunk now. So. We kind of been on standstill today, and then the driveline guy's waiting on me, and um, yeah, there's some other pieces right there. But yeah, the driveline guy's waiting on me, and I couldn't really do anything till this stuff came in. Now that this stuff's come in, now everybody's waiting on me. Um, so yeah, it would be interesting. We got a lot to do, very little time. It was a very late night last night. Actually, you know what? Let me turn this down before YouTube hits me with the copyright strike. Alright, so it was a very late night last night. We got all the body mount covers in. I'm looking fresh in there. Obviously everything's still dusty and dirty right now. But we still gotta wipe it up, but we got all those in. We got the front speaker grill in. Um, I just came back from the nut and bolt place. We got the switch panel mounted up. Right there. And then... What we were waiting for were the motor caps and these dump caps right here. So all those are finally in. Uh, we got most of the hosing in place. We just gotta run dump wires and polish this tubing and actually make this tubing and polish it and then get the final wiring on this side done. But uh, yeah, last night was a very, very late night. Uh, we're down to the wire. Car has to deliver Thursday-ish, Friday. Today is Wednesday? Yeah, today's Wednesday. So. We got a long way to go still, but uh, we're making progress. We're in a matter rush right now. You kind of see you got everyone spread out everywhere. Um, we weren't able to finish the wiring yet, uh, but we have the driveline guys on his way right now. Come to check the back half of it. So we're just kind of waiting right now. We're going to just temporarily wire it just to get the car going up and down. And then once he gets his measurement, we're going to tear this back apart and then get the, the tubing, which is right here that we're polishing up, um, get this all back on the car Ooh, guys look at her she went up on her own power we have no leaks in the setup up there we did run into a few issues we'll address those right now but kind of give you guys a little walk around and of course it is uh we are closed up so the doors are all shut up um phones aren't ringing we could just work uh i just met up with mario once again right now dropped off some more chrome and engraving <clears throat> Uh, he inspected everything we did. We just got off the phone with Hyro as well. And uh, everything's looking good. We did run into a few issues, like I said. And again, I'm just going to show you guys this. And the reason I'm going to show you guys this is it has nothing to do with bagging on anybody, nothing like that. But I want to show you guys that even us, 
we have problems and we run into issues. Um, you guys remember we talked about this rear end didn't come from us and these cylinders and stuff didn't come from us. And I've had experiences with these cylinders before um, from this specific company. Um, obviously, whoever um, assembled this car, they put them on there. Um, again, we're not talking crap about nobody, nothing like that. It's just we're addressing real issues that even us have. Um, that, that we run into on a daily basis and stuff that we experience and see. Uh, I'm going to take a step back here. And, you know, obviously this will probably fly for most people, but we're so picky. Do you guys notice that this cylinder is only opening on the second stage? And this cylinder, where's my finger? This one's opening up on the first stage and partial on the second. So if you look at the nuts, the cylinder nuts, right there where my finger's at, and the cylinder nut here, they're at different heights. Now again, most people probably wouldn't care, um, but being that we did so much work back here and the guys freaking busted their asses and all this stuff, um, that little stuff like that just doesn't fly. Um, so we're going to change those cylinders out. You know, we talked, we got on the phone with them, we figured it out. Um, we're going to get the correct ones in here. Another issue is we've only lifted this car up twice, um, be, being that we're testing. And I'll, I'll show you guys what I mean because, again, I'm showing you guys this because there, there's a process of everything. You know, not everything looks prettier right off the bat. And right now, yes, I know this isn't correct. Yes, I know this isn't safe. As of right now, we are just doing this for testing purposes only because I have the tubing right over here and we just haven't finished polishing yet polishing it yet and the drive shaft guy was coming and we need to get this car going up and down before he got here and so this was a temporary just to get this up and going and functional now the ground is off obviously again this is safe right now but i want to show you guys even in between all the builds i mean the setup still looks freaking sexy and one thing i do got to say is if your wife or girlfriend doesn't buy you car parts are you with the right one let that marinate for a second. And the reason I say that is because, and I got to give a huge, huge, huge shout out and thank you to Hiro's wife. And actually, you know what? I don't know her name um, off the top of my, my head. Um, I'm sure you know, Hiro will tell me. But I just got to say thank you and huge appreciation uh, for supporting your husband, um, for believing in him, for believing in his thoughts. Uh, and seeing his crazy vision because I'm pretty sure he probably told you he wanted to build something like this and you probably are like look at him But at the same time if you guys know Hiro you guys might get a vision and be like Okay, that's a normal vision for him because me and him are kind of like on the same way path We're like screw it. Let's just do it. We're kind of like but I do want to say you guys need to get you a wife or a girlfriend that supports your habits your well, I shouldn't say habits because that's not always good. Um, I should say supports your um, hobbies or passions because she purchased this whole setup for him without him knowing. And as you can tell, it is one sexy, sexy setup. And on top of that, let me flip this around. And on top of that, Hiro told me his mom watches my YouTube channel. And I'm like, what? Your mom watches the YouTube channel? So in the first video, we had a little issue where Vic couldn't get the, the A-arm off because he had the headers that were so close. And while we had to drop the headers to take this off, you know, something I should have took 20, 30 minutes, ended up taking us an hour and a half, two hours. Well, supposedly, I don't know if this is a true story or Hyro's pulling my leg, but I literally laughed. And um, Hyro said that his mom called him after watching the YouTube video and said that he needed to change his headers. So Hyro actually got called out by his mom. I was like, hey, yo, you better fix your shit because uh, the guys over at Hoppel's are having a problem. And I think that's funny. Um, again, I love that. I love watching the support, getting the support, and, and seeing everybody. Again, I don't have to do these videos. I kind of do them. You know, I do enjoy doing them, obviously. I like showing off the work in between um, the steps. And I like to you know, show you guys the real step-by-step -step process. Now, obviously, my videos aren't as great as I'd like them to be because I don't have someone following, following us around every day, you know, filming this. Half the time I forget. We're so busy. We're short-staffed. We're... You know, we're beyond booked here that I forget to videotape half the stuff that we do or we're so busy that I just can't do it. So, again, I, you know, I always apologize for that. But there's, you know, you know, 3% of you guys, I'm just tossing a number out there, that get all pissed off and butthurt, you know, you know. But for those 3%, go screw yourself, get off the page. It's that simple. We are a very, very low um, 
issue company. Like, we don't like to have any issues. We don't like no negativity. We're all about positive feed and stuff like that, you know? So we just like to show you guys a little bit of everything. You know, because everyone always sees like the TV shows and they're like, oh, well, you just go like this and the car's done and it's perfect. No, it doesn't happen like that and it doesn't work like that. Now, again, I wish it would and I'm, I am, I'm assuming and I could probably speak on behalf of every car builder or every car, custom car owner. We wish that the cars didn't have issues, but you run into stuff. It's part of custom car building. You know, if this was easy, everyone would do it, right? So again... Make sure you guys get someone that supports you guys, uh, your passions, your, your hobbies and stuff like that. Luckily, mine does. Now, she's probably not always happy with my spending that I do on it, but hey, I'm sorry. But car's getting there. I'm excited. I'm feeling better because I, I was really, um, and I'm kind of like going on rambling, ranting right now. Um, I was really worried. We got to a point where I was feeling like we were just days behind on this car and hours behind. But everything fell through um, right when I was really stressing out the most today when the drive shaft guy was coming. And if I didn't meet that window, then the car would have been backed up an extra day. And I promised this to deliver on Thursday, blah, 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 blah. You know, all this stuff's going through my mind that, you know, my pregnant girl shows up today. And I'm in the middle of just stressing out, not having enough time. And I just, there's just not, I don't have enough hands, I don't have enough feet, I'm not moving fast enough, I'm just not doing things quick enough, I'm not doing it once, I'm screwing up, I'm messing up, I'm stressing out, you know. She shows up with lunch. Now she's off of work because obviously she's pregnant um, and she's due at any time and that's one of the major reasons why this car, we were like iffy if it was going to get done or not because she's literally about to blow at any point. And, um, and when I say blow, I mean that like in the, the best way possible. But... Um, she shows up today and I'm just having a really, really shitty and horrible day and, and I just really didn't have the time. And, but I stopped and um, we had lunch together. You know, we sat down, we talked. I've been coming home so late because of this car that we really haven't talked. So, I mean, I took 30, 45 minutes out of my day today and I don't normally take a lunch very often or, or at all. And I sat down and we had lunch and we talked and it was great just to kind of catch up and you know see, see her again. and. And I needed that because as soon as I did that, boom, I got in the car, boom, tubing done, boom, wiring done, boom, everything was getting done. And then I got lucky because Eric showed up and Vic was finished doing what he was doing. And uh, what ended up happening was, let me get my thumb out of the way. What ended up happening was everyone just jumped in. So like everyone kind of just jumped on board and was like right there with us. Car ended up getting done, caught up to where it should have been. I don't want to say done, but get caught up to where it should have been. And I was at that point feeling better. And um, right now I feel good. Obviously, I don't like talking as much on my videos, but I'm ranting right now because I want you guys to kind of know how everything really goes on. You know, everyone sees these TV shows and everyone, you know, sees these guys dressed up and like their shirts perfectly tucked in and their hair is perfectly combed and their hands aren't dirty. That's not real. I don't give a shit who you are. That's not real because I am filthy. From the foot, feet up, I am filthy. It's just dirty. Um, and I mean, we try to keep the shop as clean as possible, but he, but you just run into, you know, you're building stuff. What do you expect? So guys, I think it's enough for my rant. Not really a rant. I just want to talk to you guys. Be a little connection, you know what I'm saying? Hi, Ro, if you're watching this, man, I'm tired. I'm beyond beat. Um... You're pushing us. Sometimes I can't even think straight. Sometimes I get mad at you, man. <laughs> but in the end, look at this car. It's freaking beautiful now. It is absolutely freaking gorgeous. I can't wait for you guys to actually see this. Obviously, you guys are probably going to see this before you see the car in person. But when you guys see this thing in Vegas, she's going to be in all her glory, glistening. We got the custom show stands all set up. Uh, I believe the mirror kit's here. We gotta do a lot of inserts. California's gonna kill it on the upholstery. It's gonna look freaking badass, man, I swear. Um, you know, when you start doing these cars, sometimes you start thinking they're gonna be repetitive and repetitive, and you start getting stuff like this, and you get great customers, and you know, great customer feedback, and you know, you just got a good crew that's just solid, and it's like, you need something, they need something, and you, everyone got each other's back, that's the way it's supposed to be. 
And that's the way the industry should be. You know, a lot of guys sit here and will just hate and hate and hate. It's like, you guys aren't going to get anywhere, man. You won't. You know, sit there and just help each other out. That's what we try to do. We try to help everyone out as much as we poss possibly can. Obviously, we're limited because of the amount of crew we run here. But we try to help everyone out as much as we can. So, guys, I'm going to wrap this part up for right now. Because we're going on like a seven-minute rant. And I got shit to do. So, good night, guys. You guys will be seeing this all finished and looking pretty. So, guys, they are here to pick it up. They've been waiting on me. We barely made it. There you guys go. There's the final. Of course, you're still going to California to get all the upholstery boards. Um, Mario, where's the next step? ABS and then back to CNC. Dr. So for the guys you guys have been asking, who CNC? There's CNC right there. Um, so if you guys are looking to get the car done, you guys contact them through their Instagram page. I'll link you down in the bottom of the video. So with that being said, guys, that wraps up our video for today and for this week. Um, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed that 60 build right there. Obviously, I didn't show you guys everything, but I'm leaving that for part three of the video. You guys will see it next in Vegas. If you guys are in Vegas, you guys can check it out there or on, on YouTube. If you're in Vegas, obviously check it out. So now time to go home. We've got the truck warming up right now. Time to get out of here. It is late. We met our deadline. I am happy with that. The crew pulled it together. And the baby didn't come out yet, so I still got a little bit of time. Until then, I gotta get my hat on and get out of here and go home. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe and check out all my other videos.